hello everyone welcome back to my new video today i'm going to show how to make gujia in a healthy version i've been listed out all the ingredients you can have a look on it here i've been used only ragi flour and kova or else mawa to prepare this gujia so this is one of the healthiest recipe no oil and no maida or refined flour i've been used so let's start the procedure here i've been boil the water uh for at least 2 minutes then add a pinch of salt and for two glasses of water i have been added two cups of ragi flour and allow it to cook until for 5 to 6 minutes the reason for cooking the flour is they gain the elasticity so that we can easily mold into a particular shape after ragi getting cooked we need to transfer into a big bowl and knead it properly using the dry flour as well as water accordingly and the consistency of the flour should be the same as we prepare the chapati or roti uh, you can see how i am kneading it knead it properly and in between even you can use 2 to 3 spoons of oil or else ghee so that it become greasy to our hands and we can easily knead it you can see how i've been use the ghee After kneading the dough let's start the preparation of stuffing for stuffing i have been used crushed almonds cashews and even the powder containing fennel seeds watermelon seeds as well as poppy seeds and for 2 cups of ragi i have been used 1 cup of mewa accordingly you need to use the quantity of the mewa should be half of the flour which we have been used and use some cardamom powder as well which gives nice flavor and the mewa should be normal or else you can use the sweetener mewa as well accordingly and adjust the sweetness with using jaggery powder here i am using jaggery even you can use fine powder of sugar as well and mix it well and here is our stuffing is ready here i have been taken a small portion of dough and made into a particular round shape then i have applied some amount of water on top of it the reason of applying water is uh, to remove the dryness of the dry ragi flour and cut into a round shape accordingly you can even use gujia molds for easier purpose and then place all the inner stuffing into it and make it into a proper shape and steam it for 15 minutes that's it our healthy version of gujia is all ready So here I'm using steamer you can use accordingly even you can use idli pan and before placing our gujia on the plate which we are using for steaming grease it with oil or ghee to avoid sticking of our gujia to that plate and steam it for 15 to 18 minutes under low flame and our healthy version of gujia are ready to taste so before tasting it just take a tooth pin and press so that if the dough is sticking to that tooth pin it means that we need to cook for few more minutes if not our healthy version of gujia are all ready to eat so here you can see our gujia are ready to eat and you can see how i'm checking it
to my toothpick it didn't stick anything do try it at least for once thank you for watching my video do subscribe like and share the millets of the year it is called as so do eat millets and become fit do practice yoga thank you for watching